Hey guys, what is up? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a exotic ingram, prime ingram farm, and destiny 2 beyond light. Before we get in the video though, if you can drop like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. With all that said though, let's get right into the video. So, many of you are probably here to finish off your collections, or maybe just learn how to farm some exotics. Now, I actually did just recently find out about this method, and this method is really great, and I highly suggest farming this. So, step one is just go to the tower and go to Banji44. Make sure that you pick up all of his bounties, as you can also farm your bounties here. And it's probably overall a great method. I would suggest doing this. I do believe you need Shadow keep but if you don't have shadow keep uh, i'll link a video in the description below with a exotic farm that you don't have to have shadow keep for so your first step is is uh choose something that you're going to use i'm using a astral horizon you don't really need anything crazy i'm going to be using point of the stag with anarchy i'm going to be using stasis with a 10 recovery i don't have anything crazy for mods but there are two major buffs that i would suggest popping here the rainmaker buff now, pretty much, once you guys pop these buffs right here, all you gotta do is just go to the moon. Now, you wanna click on the Pit of Harissi. Now, you just wanna spawn in at the beginning. Now, pretty much, this exotic farm is actually quite interesting. I had someone tell me about this in my Discord server. Now, I will provide some gameplay at the end of this video proof that i have gotten engrams from this method so uh this is overall a great method i would definitely suggest farming this i'm also going to pop the finest matter weave buff so as you can see right here i do have the rainmaker buff as well as the finest matter weave buff now for your point and stag if you're not using what i'm using it doesn't really matter just anything that has decent dps anarchy is great for this exotic farm but suggest using uh something with high dps so you just Go to the beginning of the mission you don't really need anything special if you do have rally banners definitely pop that now this is a bit interesting so once you guys jump down from here and just land here you just want to follow exactly where i go so as you can see there's going to be these little enemies right here now pretty much you can kill them now this right here as you can see there is a yellow bright enemy so i'm just going to shoot him with my bow now he did drop me a purple ingram as you guys can see right there and then there's going to be another knight. Now, the unique thing about this little farm that I thought really stood out to me was that these ads actually keep respawning and respawning as long as you don't do the dungeon. So, just make sure that you actually don't, like, do the dungeon on purpose. Now, as you can see right here, um, I'm just going to shoot this little knight. Now, I'm also using a shotgun just for some good DPS. So, as you can see, I'm going to let that purple go to my postmaster as I want to try to farm some certain rolls of weapons. Now, as you can see, there's also some more ads right here, which is great. Now, these things do keep spawning and spawning, and they are yellow bright enemies, so they have a higher chance of dropping exotics as well as purples, and I'd overall suggest this method to anybody who's just looking maybe to finish off collections. Now, there's going to be these ogres too. This is where my anarchy would come in handy. So, anarchy does a lot of DPS right there. As you can see, he's almost dead. Now, he did not drop me anything, but you guys can keep refarming this uh, never-ending as long as you just don't do the uh, dungeon. So, let's jump down here, as you guys can see. Now, there's going to be some more ads as well. Just keep clearing them out. Now, that one didn't drop me anything, but there's also going to be some more knights. Don't bother with these uh, red bar enemies. They can't really give you anything, but these ogres, I definitely suggest taking down as there's a way higher drop rate of a exotic ingram. Now, he didn't drop me anything either. Now I'm going to drop down here, and uh, yeah, so pretty much you can overall just farm this over and over and over. Uh, as long as you just don't do the dungeon, you are good to keep repetitively farming this. You get some chances at some exotic ingrams. So uh, I'm going to give you guys some uh, gameplay of me actually getting some ingrams from this method. Like always though, if you guys enjoyed this video or just found it helpful, drop a like, subscribe, peace. Thanks for watching.